Hi, my name is Sarah Kazemi, and I'm presenting my study called New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch User Data Transfer Interface. As you might guess, the goal of this study is to redesign the Nintendo Switch's existing user data transfer interface. If you're unfamiliar, this is accessible by navigating to the system settings menu, selecting user, and then transfer your user data. This must be performed on both the source and the target console. And for the most part, all the information you need is provided through the step-by-step -step prompts in the interface, for the most part. There's some crucial information missing here, which is why I'm doing this study. To understand the problem space, we have to understand and define the users. According to Nintendo's most recent quarterly report, their Switch users span a diverse age distribution. And one of the company's key initiatives is to ensure that the Switch is fun for all, regardless of age, gender, or past gaming experience. So any interface involved in facilitating seamless gameplay should adhere to the standard as well. We also have to understand the context of Switch ownership. Recently, Nintendo published their 2021 year-end fiscal report stating that existing Switch users are purchasing additional consoles or replacing old ones. This includes upgrading to the new Nintendo Switch OLED, which released October 2021. Replacing an old console with a new one inevitably means users will need to use the user data transfer interface to ensure that they can pick up where they left off in their games. The uptick in users making additional switch purchases has revealed a major area of need. When users transfer their profile and save data from an old console to a new one, the user data transfer interface does not communicate that certain game data does not transfer. In particular, this includes a very popular game Animal Crossing New Horizons, released in 2020 during the height of the pandemic, which users have sunk hundreds of hours of gameplay into. Another tool called the Island Transfer Tool must be first downloaded from the Nintendo eShop and then used to transfer Animal Crossing data. Many users have reported losing hundreds of hours of save data due to this lack of communication. A common theme arose when investigating this particular need. Users wished that they had been warned by the user data transfer interface that additional steps were needed to transfer Animal Crossing save data. The interface made it seem like all user data had been transferred and that it was safe to factory reset the old switch. On the left of the screen, you can see a screen capture of one user's story posted on YouTube in 2020. In this story, she reports how devastated she was to lose her island and its inhabitants. Next to that, you can see a similar story published in October of 2021, showing that the problem still persists. Nintendo had been aware that many users would be upgrading to the Nintendo Switch OLED in October 2021 and yet did not take any steps to mitigate users losing their Animal Crossing save data, such as by including a simple warning message in the user data transfer interface. This is especially surprising since Animal Crossing is one of their evergreen titles, and it significantly drove their Nintendo Switch sales during the 2020 fiscal year upon its release. The user data transfer interface was redesigned with this major need in mind, it was redesigned using Figma. As you can see, on the left, you see the existing interface. On the right is the redesign. In the redesign, there are two additions that were added to this page, a warning message about what data does not transfer and a button that leads to a resource video about using the island transfer tool. This design was leveraged from the parental controls interface which similarly embeds a resource video about how an adult can set restrictions on their child's console. The redesigned interface addresses the lack of communication that Animal Crossing save data is not transferable 
through this interface. This narrows the gulf of evaluation since in the current system, the only feedback a user is given that indicates the save data has not been transferred is when they attempt to play the game on their new console. By this time, they may have already cleared all the data from their old console since the current interface gives the illusion that all user and save data is transferred, which is an issue of mapping. Next, the redesigned interface was evaluated. The purpose of evaluation was to test whether or not we could reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the redesigned interface was better at communicating the effects and limitations of the user data transfer interface. A between subjects design was used and a total of 41 participants were randomly assigned to the control condition, the existing interface, or the experimental condition, the redesigned interface. 21 participants were assigned to the redesigned interface and 20 were assigned the existing interface. To control for interface fidelity, both groups interacted with an interface that was implemented in Figma. Participants walked through the user data transfer process on their assigned interface and subsequently completed a survey that assessed their understanding of the effects and limitations of the interface, which was done through a knowledge check questions. And the survey also measured their perceptions about the clarity of communication of the interface using Likert rating scale items. The accuracy of participants' understanding of the interface's capabilities and limitations was assessed by computing the total number of knowledge check questions answered correctly. The mean difference in scores was assessed with an independent samples t-test. However, there was no significant difference in knowledge check scores between groups. There was no effect of which interface participants were assigned to in this case. There were some significant differences in how participants rated the clarity of communication of the interfaces, however. Participants assigned to the re redesigned interface were more likely to agree that the interface clearly communicated the limitation that the tool did not transfer Animal Crossing save data. Similarly, participants assigned to the redesigned interface were more likely to agree that the interface made it apparent that additional steps were needed to transfer this data once they were finished with the user data transfer process within this interface. Both of these results were statistically significant using a kolgmorov smirnov test. However, there was no statistical difference across groups related to how participants rated the extent to which the interface provided sufficient information on how to ensure Animal Crossing data was successfully transferred. The null hypothesis can be rejected on the basis that the redesigned interface more clearly communicates both the fact that the Animal Crossing data is not transferred by this interface and that there are additional steps required to ensure that it is transferred successfully. However, exactly how to perform those steps is still not adequately communicated by the redesigned interface. Although a sample resource video was provided in the redesign, some participants reported that this was not adequate since the video was viewed outside the context of transferring Animal Crossing data. However, is it necessary to teach users how to complete these additional data transfer steps, which are required outside of the interface? Reflecting on the original need finding criteria, users simply wanted to be warned that additional steps were required in an external tool. On this front, the redesigned interface succeeded. Additional need finding can assess when, where, and how to best inform users how to transfer the data that does not get transferred by the user data transfer interface. It's also worth noting that this redesign suggested in the study is an economical one, since it does not require a complete overhaul of existing interfaces. Ideally, the complexity of using different tools to ensure that all data has been successfully transferred would be abstracted away from the user, reducing cognitive load. A future study that investigates the feasibility of creating such an integrated interface rather than requiring users to download external tools is warranted.